Happy Friday, everyone. I know one thing, not only is it the end of the week, I'm tired. How about you? It's been a long week. It's been a long time that we've been doing this virtual school thing here at Wisconsin Lutheran High School. It's been a long time that we've been busy at home and not many other places, and I'm tired. So I don't know about you, but I know I'm looking forward to this. Maybe a little nap this afternoon, definitely some rest this weekend. But I'll tell you what, for as much as we might love the pillow and the rest that it brings, sometimes the pillow can be a really dangerous place because that's where the mind starts rolling and all those wonders and those worries creep through the brain as we have all kinds of questions about life and we ask, why is this going on? Why is this happening? Those common questions about coronavirus. But just maybe, maybe you find yourself at times lying awake, staring at the ceiling at night and thinking deeper questions like, what am I even believing here? What if Christianity isn't right? What if Jesus isn't the Savior? What if everyone else is right, or at least someone else is right, and, and what I believe isn't? How do I know? Those doubts, those wonders, those worries can roll through our minds, and, and sometimes we have to ask those difficult questions. And you know what? It's okay. It's okay to wonder. It's okay to search for facts, because guess what? That's exactly what we have. This whole week, we have been talking about faith in the peace that, that Jesus gives to us. And we heard about how he showed himself to his disciples. And Thomas didn't believe it, but then he showed himself to Thomas too. We've heard on uh, yesterday in the, in the message on how Jesus appeared to so many people, over 500 people in the days that he was alive. And today, one more time, we're going to focus on the fact, the fact, that we know Jesus is risen. The text that we're going to meditate on is from Acts chapter 10. Go read it when you have a chance. But what we have here is Peter, who's preaching to a group of people, and he has that key phrase that pops up in the book of Acts. He says, we are witnesses. We are witnesses of everything Jesus did. I mean, just imagine for a moment if I told you that this last week or maybe yesterday I caught a really big fish, a huge fish, maybe a fish bigger than I've ever caught, bigger than, than myself, maybe you wouldn't believe me. And especially if no one else was there and I had no pictures, maybe you really wouldn't believe me. But what if, what if someone else was there? What if I had pictures, selfies with this fish? What if hundreds of people saw what I had done? Would you maybe then believe them? Would you believe me? You see, this is the beauty of what we have in Jesus Christ and the beauty of what we have in Christianity. Because guess what? You can walk right through all the religions of the world and all the other leaders and great teachers. They're still in the grave. But Jesus isn't. And that's not just some myth. That's not just some fairy tale. That's not like Harry Potter and some fiction book. Peter and the others were eyewitnesses of what Jesus did. They saw him. They heard him, they touched him, and they wrote down what he said and what he did for us. We have eyewitness accounts, which means we can know without a shadow of a doubt that Christ is risen, and he is risen indeed. So as you go into this weekend and you look for some rest, rest in the comfort of the peace that we have in Jesus. It's sure, it's certain, it's definite, because he did rise, people did see him, and they wrote it for us to believe. As John said, these words are written that we may believe that Jesus is the Christ. Thanks be to God for our risen Savior and the peace and the rest that he gives us.